was so good to hold you again. I missed you so much. I've missed you every minute. I tried so hard to pretend that I didn't, but I, I can't anymore. Laura, we mustn't ever pretend what we don't feel. Not to each other. We love each other too much for pretense. What I've been trying to tell you is just because Bobby's news has, has turned everything upside down for us, it doesn't mean that it has to be the end for us. Laura, it's... it's just a postponement. I don't know, Scotty. I guess I... I don't believe that things ever turn out right for me. Oh, yes, they will, Laura. I promise you. How will I get through these next months? With you married to Bobby and me stuck here in this prison? Well, I know. It is not going to be easy. But we can get through it. We just have to try. You just have to trust in the love that we have for each other. Or you have to believe that you can trust me again. You trust me, don't you? I guess so. Then I'm going to go right on seeing you. I promise you that. Where? At the hospital with, with Bobby spying on us all the time, sneering at me because she won. No, no, I've told Bobby that I'm going to go on seeing you. But, I mean, of course, I mean, we, we have to be discreet about it. Well, I'm still married to Bobby. You make me feel like the other woman. Laura. You're the only woman for me, and you always have been. Does Bobby know that? Of course she does. She knows that this is just a marriage in name only, and that we're going to live in separate bedrooms, please, and that we're not... Scotty, I don't want to hear about, about the living arrangements, please. Laura, I know that, it, that it's not easy for you, but I want you to know everything about this, otherwise I wouldn't feel right about any of it. to marry her? Yeah, I'm afraid so. I thought today that... Well, there's a chance... There was a chance that the whole thing was going to be off. What do you mean? Well, your mother thought it was a good idea that Bobby see Gina Dante and be given another pregnancy test. Why? Well, she thought that... that Bobby might have been lying. I wouldn't put it past her. I told you that from the very beginning. Did she see Gina? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And? Well, the, the test results came back positive. I mean, I hated to think that, that Bobby would have lied to me. But, Laura, I wish that Bobby wasn't pregnant. When do you and Bobby leave for Canada? Tomorrow morning. Laura, Laura, I, I dread this just as much as you do. And I wish there was some way out, but there's not. I just wish that tomorrow would never come. Laura, you, uh, you still haven't answered my question. What? Will you still be here waiting for me when, when this whole mess is over with? I don't know what to say. Yes, you do, Laura. You say, yes, I will, Scotty, because we love each other. I want to be here for you. But it's going to be so hard knowing every minute that Bobby won. Laura, she hasn't won anything. She has my name on a piece of paper, and that's all. She doesn't have my love, Laura. You have that. You always will. Try to remember that. Does that mean will you wait for me? Of course I'll wait. I'll always be here for you.
L Laura, this isn't fair to you. Well, as you said, it isn't going to be easy for either one of us. Yeah, uh, yeah, well, I would like to stay here and talk all night. But we'd still be in the same predicament. Laura, listen, I, I, I also want to go see Lee because uh, he wasn't feeling well. And uh, I'd like to see him. What time tomorrow do you and Bobby leave? Laura, let's, let's not talk about that no, part Scotty. of it. No, I have to know. I don't want to go to the hospital until after you're gone. Because I couldn't stand being there when you and Bobby leave to... Laura, you don't have to worry about that. Because Bobby wants to leave very early in the morning. But I wanted to wait till after my last class. But she wants to leave at the crack of dawn. Yeah, but even so, I still feel cheated. I don't get to give my little sister away. Just want to get Scotty out of Port Charles as soon as possible. If it were up to me, Luke, we would have gone tonight. Yeah, where is the blushing bridegroom anyway? Probably trying to get dear little Laura to talk to him. Do you believe he actually wanted to wait till tomorrow to leave so that he could go to his classes? <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> well, how'd you talk him out of it? <laughs> I badgered him till he gave in. Oh. Luke, I can't wait around for Gina Dante to get back that negative report on Mrs. Davenport. She might suspect that the test got mixed up and then she might trace it back to me. Ah, uh, dear Mrs. Davenport. Oh, I wish I could see her face when that test result comes back and says that she is not pregnant. She was so sure of herself. Look, that's not funny. I just want to make sure that Scotty and I are safely up in Canada by that time and that he's already said I do. Laura, I feel like a whole weight lifted off of my shoulders. Well, I, I guess that no matter how hurt I was, I couldn't let you go without telling you how I really feel. I know that you trust me, Laura, and I'll treasure that above everything else. I do trust you with my life. <clears throat> Laura, that's what's going to get me through tomorrow. And until you and I can get married. Scotty, it's not going to be all that easy. Rick is against the whole idea. I know, I know, but let's not deal with that right now. Let's just think about how much we love each other, belong to each other. Sis, relax now. You got Scotty right where you want him. You don't have to push every second. Look, Lou, thanks for the advice, but I think I know a little bit more about handling Scotty Baldwin than anybody else. What I'm really worried about now is Cal Jameson. Cal Jameson? Come on, that guy is running from the law. He isn't going to stick around here and risk getting caught just for some lousy 500 bucks. No, but he might call Dr. Hardy and tell him all about Jacksonville just out of spite. Worse still, he might tell Scotty. Oh, he probably doesn't even know Scotty. And once you're married, he won't know your address or your phone number. And once you get divorced, there'll be nothing to worry about. Of course, Luke, you have got to be kidding. You mean you are not going to hit Scotty's old man up for a bunch of money and then split? I will never give Scotty a divorce. Never. Oh, yeah, well, what if he wants one? And he does. How are you going to stop him? I don't know, Luke. But from the moment that Scotty and I drive off for Canada tomorrow... I am going to do everything in my power to keep him. Scotty Baldwin belongs to me. And Laura Weber is never going to get him back. Never. No, thanks, Brian. Listen, I really feel rotten about you having to move out on such short notice. It's just that, Brian, I, I kept hoping that I'd find some other way out of this mess. Look, Scotty, don't worry about me. I knew this was coming the first time you told me Bobby was pregnant. But, man, I really admire your guts. Brian, no wait, way. can we change the subject? It's bad enough that I have to go through with this wedding without having to talk about it. Well, at least Laura understands it all, though. She does? 
Well, as either as well as either one of us can, I guess. He's had a long talk with Laura last night. And I'll tell you, Brian, the only way that I'm going to get through this wedding to Bobby is knowing that after the baby is born and we get divorced, that I am still going to get married to Laura. Somehow. Scotty, I wish there was some way I could help you out of this. Thanks, Brian, but, well, we both know better than that. Well, how are you on cash? Well, I have enough to get by. I mean, it's not going to be the elaborate trip that Bobby's planning on, but, well, that's too bad for her. Look, Scotty, you can't spend every penny you have on this trip. I mean, when you come back, you're going to have a wife and a baby to support. Come on, man. Look, Brian, I just want to get this over with as fast as possible and get as far away from Port Charles as I possibly can. I mean, Bobby's already opened her big mouth around the hospital already. Well, I don't know why that should surprise you. Well, it does. It embarrasses me. When someone like Dory Fleming comes up to me and congratulates me, they don't know the real reason you're getting married, Scotty. And damn it! Brian, if I hadn't given in to Bobby that night that we broke up, none of this would have happened. Oh, hello, Bill. Is Lester in the lab yet? This is Gina Dante. Well, then will you have him call me as soon as he gets in, please? Right away. I've got a question about a pregnancy test he ran on a patient of mine that happens also to be a good friend. No. No, I've got it right here in front of me, but I'm confused about something. And I want him to double-check his records for me. Yeah, before I notify my patient. Okay. Thank you. I better fit in all the hugs I can, Bobby. Scotty's liable to turn into a jealous husband once you're married. Not with you, Dan, your family. Now I know what they mean about you're not losing a daughter, you're gaining a son. Feels nice. Well, you may be gaining a son, but I'm... I'm losing a roommate, and I'm going to miss you so much. Jesse, I'm going to miss you, too. And I'm never going to thank you for everything that you've done for me and for all the wedding hey, come on, now, we're both going to start crying. Jesse, I mean it. Hey, come on, you two. Weddings are happy occasions. Besides, it's not like she's leaving the country or something. Well, still, I, I don't want to think of Jesse as being lonely after I'm gone. You don't have to worry about that. But I do worry, Jesse. And so that's why I think that you could should consider getting yourself another roommate, somebody that you feel very comfortable with, like, uh, like Dan, maybe. Oh, come on now, Bobby. Okay, okay, so you marry him first. It uh, <laughs> sounds great to me, Bobby. All right, you're both losing your mom. <laughs> Here, let me give you a hand, Jesse. Thank you. Ah. Bobby. You and Scotty drive carefully, and you call us from Toronto once you're settled in. I will. Promise. Bobby, I probably never understand you, but I love you very, very much. I love you too, Jesse. And now you're doing it. You're both going to have us crying in a minute, so go on, get out of here. <laughs> Jesse. Yeah? Uh, you go on ahead. I'll meet you down the lobby. There's something I want to say to Bobby. Okay, Dan. I'll be thinking of you. See you soon. Uh, I didn't want to say anything in front of Jesse because I know how embarrassed you get about taking money, but uh, I would like to help you on your trip. Dan, no, please. I already owe you $500. Oh, forget the 500 Bobby. I don't want you and Scotty worried about money on your honeymoon. Dan, I really appreciate that, but Scotty's been saving up for this thing for months, and I know he, he'd feel funny if I tried to pay for anything. But thank you anyway. Have a good time, Mrs. Baldwin. See you when you get back. Metropolitan Club High, Lee Baldwin Suite, please. Mr. Baldwin, hi. It's me, Bobby. <laughs> no, no, uh, Scotty's not here yet, but uh, he's on his way. He should be here any minute. Listen, Mr. Baldwin, there's something that I wanted to talk to you about. Actually, Scotty was going to call you himself, but... Uh, no, no, no. 